What's going on everybody, this is Afro Think Tank. Now this video is gonna be a little bit petty, just a little bit petty, all right? Now I said, that there's this, there's this Bucci Bear, Uncle Ruckus dude, right? Who's upset because intellectually he can't match me and politically he can't stand up to me, right? And we know what people do when intellectually and politically they can't stand up to somebody. Just like they daddy massa Donald Trump, they start throwing insults, right? So there was this guy named Cali Genesis. Some of y'all know him, right? Now he got mad at me because I intellectually destroyed him too. So he got to talking shit, right? So he made up Afro Stink Tank. That's the best this 50, 60 year old man could do. Is just take my name Afro Think Tank and say what can, what can I do to insult this guy? Because I can't find nothing else to get him with. I'm going to say Afro Stink Tank. Finding daddy. Childish, right? So this other dude named Brandon, Pan-African Strikes Back, Pan-Coonism Strikes Back, decides to take that, right, and run with it. And try his best to create a narrative that I have a hygiene problem. Even though we've never met. So I don't know. Usually when you tell a joke, there's got to be some truth to the joke, to attach to the joke to make it funny, right? So when I attack him, it's usually on his positions. But because he can't attack me on my positions, he tries to run with an insult, Afro stink tank, right? So I said, okay, you know, I let him do it for a while. You see, if I'm, I'm from the city, I'm from DC, DMV. We jone for a living, we do it for free, we love it. And I can burn this dude at any moment, right? But I choose not to, but I could not help myself this time. I could not help myself, and I always use his own words against him. So what I'm about to do is use his words against him. Since he's made so many shorts, trying to question my hygiene for some some weird reason, because he can't. He's not even creative enough to come up with his own jokes, right? I'm gonna use his own words against him. Now everybody, keep. I know y'all cannot stand his voice, but just for a minute, listen to this. Listen, this is the guy who's trying to say that I have a hygiene problem. By calling me Afro Stink Tank. So once he started calling me out my name, then I started smelling blood and blood and I had to do something. So without further ado, this is the guy who calls me Afro Stink Tank. I'm good, so I could put these I could put these headphones on. Please excuse my sweat marks on my shirt. I actually just came from the gym. I rode my bike from there to here, and I haven't had time to change shirts uh, right now. And I really I was already running late. Cause I scheduled this and I was at the gym and I tried to get here, whatever. Maybe during the middle of the show, if someone decides to bless me, um, I can change my shirt and get something that's a little bit cleaner. Don't judge me. Okay. So the guy who's so pressed to get on live, to tell all five of his subscribers that still watch him, despite his subscriber count, only five of them still watch him. He was so pressed to come home to go live that his nasty ass couldn't go take a shower and he sat his ass on that chair with his nasty sweaty body without even putting the towel back there in his disgusting body and he talked for an hour to two hours stinking because he was just that pressed to talk shit about a black woman that's how disgusting he is. Keep in mind, that's the same guy calling me Afro Stink Tank. Have you ever heard of projection? Huh. This is the definition of projection. Huh. Anyway, that's all I got to say. Afro Think Tank. Learn something, teach something. I'm out.